The scheme is aimed at all food businesses throughout the industry. Whether it be a fish and chip shop, a cafe, a small guest house or a five star hotel. And it's pulling everyone together on the one scheme. But basically there's no exclusions, anyone who wants to join can. It's about setting a standard, a minimum standard throughout the country. There is a lot of credibility for all the other schemes that Visit Scotland run. And the latest development, Eat Scotland, is another addition to that quality scheme. What this will allow is foreign visitors and local Scottish people to have a look on the website to see a quality assurance scheme for restaurants, for any kind of type of food business. So if you're looking for a fish and chip shop, it should hopefully be able to tell you who are the best fish and chip shops. And if you're looking for a fine dining restaurant, they should be able to advise you on what are the best fine dining restaurants. To get into the scheme, of course you've got to be graded. Um, you know the criteria before you, you enter the scheme. Eat Scotland then come out, try a meal or whatever it is you're providing within your establishment. Um, they provide a report to the business and then it's included within the website. They do these things incognito because it's all very well if you know someone's coming in and then you be super organised and it's not fair on the general public if it's slightly better than, than what they would normally produce. So incognito I think is very good. aimed at all catering establishments in Scotland. Whether you're a, a pub and visitor centre like we are, or a self-service cafeteria, or even the super uh, small tea rooms all around Scotland. Everyone can be part of this because the tourist industry focus on all parts. They don't always come to restaurants when they come over to Scotland or up to Scotland. They want to stop in and have a tea in a scone. And if it's somewhere that's graded by Eat Scotland, then they know they're going to get a good cup of tea and a nice wee scone. If you want to change things, you've really got to be part of it and get involved. It's all too easy to criticise people and say X are not doing their job right or whatever and whinge about things. But really you've got to say, well, how am I going to market my business? It can prove really beneficial in that they are setting goals and are setting standards and you really won't get the positive report or positive feedback or positive information on the website unless you're able to meet these standards. The whole idea is to get into the scheme and then improve your business from, from that basic level. I think there's a real need for a scheme run by Visit Scotland uh, that's independent, that promotes Scottish produce and good places to eat. We have to aspire to a certain level and Everyone has to meet that. Tourists will be able to see that the establishment has achieved this standard and will be confident in being able to go there and enjoy a meal. There are so many people in this industry who come into this industry who have never been trained. And I think we can help these people raise that standard. It will only help their business. So therefore, you know, it can be used as a training tool for the staff to get them up to the standards that Eat Scotland are looking for. If you want to sit on the sidelines and watch it for six months, then that's fine. But you will see the benefits in turnover, in business, in staff, and more importantly, in customers using the restaurant. If you're at the standard, and if you have a good business going already, it can only be a positive benefit. The main thing about this scheme, it's just a truly Scottish scheme. I truly believe this will actually raise this help to raise the standards. We need it to pull everyone together in Scotland uh, so that we're all working from the same cookbook. And that really cannot be a bad thing. <laughs>